Hey guys, for this video what I wanted to do was to show you how to solve a probability with combinations um, question using the TI-84 graphing calculator. So what we have here is we have a bag that contains seven black buttons, um, five red buttons, so we have seven black, five red, and we are selecting a total of five buttons without replacement. So that means that we are taking a button out, we are keeping it out, we're not putting it back in. So originally we have 12 total buttons because if I add the seven plus the five together, I get 12. We're going to take five out. So that means that the probability changes from one to the next. So on the first one we have 12, the next one we only have 11 buttons left. And so what we have to look at is all of the combinations that we can get of black and red to meet the scenario. Okay, so all of these will rely on the NCX or the combinations formula. And the combinations formula is programmed into, this is programmed into your calculator. N factorial just means N times N minus one times N minus two all the way down to two times one. So um, just a recap, like if I take three factorial, that just means three times two times one. So this right here is programmed into your graphing calculator. So that's what we're going to use this time. So the first situation that we have, um, we are looking for the probability that exactly three are black. Okay, so for this specific one, that tells us that if we're selecting five buttons, three of them are black, that means that two of them have to be red. So what we have to do is we're gonna set it up as a combination where n is the total number that you have. So we have a total of seven black buttons and we want to get three of them um, on our selection. For, like I said, we are collect, we are picking a total of five buttons. So if three of them are black, two of them are red, well we have five red buttons that we are going to take two at a time. And then we are have a total of 12 buttons taken five at a time. So what this is doing is it's telling us our number, um, remember probabilities are just what we want to happen divided by the total. In this case, we are looking at how many ways can we arrange 12 things taken five at a time. That's what the 12 C5 represents. Um, and the top, we have the number of things um, that are black taken three at a time and the number of red things taken two at a time. So this, like I said, is programmed into your calculator. So I'm gonna grab my calculator. I'm gonna do this in two ways, just because it depends on your calculator. Um, if you have an older calculator, you're gonna put the number in first, okay? So for this one, I have an older calculator. So I'm gonna put the seven in first, and then I'm gonna hit math and go over to probability. And I'm gonna choose option three and then I'm going to take, um, so for the first one, because it was seven things taken three at a time, they use R instead of X, it's the same thing. Um, and then I would do times, I want um, five things taken, and then we have to go over to probability, um, three, two at a time, and then we're gonna divide this whole thing by 12 things taken five at a time. So this is what we would program into our calculator and we get approximately 0.4419. So that would be our answer. So this is approximately 0.4419. For the rest of them, I'm gonna use my newer updated calculator. Um, so I'm gonna change this calculator um, to the TI-84 Plus Color Edition, um, just because I wanna show both formats in this. For this one, I actually don't put the number in first. I just go to probability and I select three. And then I would put in seven C3 times, So I would do seven C3 times. Um, there is another way if you don't wanna do the math and go over to probability, um, you could also hit alpha F2 and then you can see that it's option eight. So that might be a little bit quicker. Um, so I would put in the five C2 
and then we would divide this by, and again, we can do that alpha F2, alpha window, option eight, and we can do um, 12, and then change this to a five. So this one makes it a little more succinct. It makes it a little bit nicer to see. And then if I press enter, I get 0. 0.4419. So I get the same thing, either calculator. Um, this is a lot easier than doing the hand calculations. I do have a video with hand calculations if you need to check that one out. For the next one, um, since it says at least one is black, um, I'm going to use the complement rule on this one. So the probability of at least one black is equal to the probability of one minus, so I would take one minus the probability of zero black. So this makes it a little bit easier to do, so um, I don't have to go, because at least one means that out of the five, the other option is I could do this step that I did up here for one, two, three, four, and all five of them being black, or you can use the complement rule where you do one minus the probability of zero of them being black, which is a lot shorter. So to plug this in, I would simply just do one minus the probability of zero black tells us that we have seven black buttons that we are taking zero at a time times um, five red buttons, all five of them we would want to be black at any time that you have five C5 or seven C0, um, anything like this, this is always going to equal one um, because this part right here, there's only one way of taking all five of them being red since there's all five of them are being used. And then the 12 C5 would still be on the bottom. So for this, what you can do so that you don't have to go back and re-grab everything is I can just grab this part right here. I forgot to do the one minus first, so I'm going to go ahead and put, and I just used my up arrow to go to back to that. Um, I'm going to hit second and insert and do one minus. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this value to zero. And the 5C2, I'm going to change that to five and then hit enter. And we see that it's 0.9987. So this is approximately 0.9987. Okay. And then I have one more. Um, if it says the probability of two or three are red, um, remember that we have seven black, five red. So if we're looking for the probability that two or three are red, this uses the um, or rule, which is addition. So you would do the probability of two red plus the probability of three red. So this time, because we're looking for red, I'm gonna put that one first. So since we have five red, um, we would just say that it would be five things taken two at a time. And the other one, because we have black, we have seven. Remember that this has to add up to be five because we're taking a total of five. So I would do 12 C5. And then I would have to add, I want five things taken three at a time which means that I would have 7C2 over 12C5. And so I'm gonna plug this into my calculator. The nice thing is, is that this first one happens to be the same thing as the 52731. So I'm gonna just grab that and then I'm gonna hit plus and I'm gonna go back up there and I'm gonna grab it again. And then what I'm going to do is just change this one to three and the other one to two. And the reason I'm doing that is because um, I'm adding them. Remember that multiplication is um, commutative, so it doesn't matter what order you put it in. Um, so even though I wrote it down differently, it's still the same answer. And so this will find the probability. So this gives me 0 0.7070 repeated. So we could say that this is approximately 0 0.7070 um, seven. And this continues forever and ever. Um, so if you wanted to put this in context, we could say that there's a 70.7% .7 probability of selecting two or three red buttons when you are selecting five total buttons. As always, thanks for watching. If you have questions, please let me know. If there are other topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.